the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Benjamin Kalu, says that the salary of federal lawmakers is too small for their job responsibilities. Moving on after this, we have the former governor of Benue State Chief, Samuel Autumn, says that he has no plan to dump PDP for APC. All right, my people, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we do bring you back to back updates and information as it is hot. In case this is your first time of joining this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to turn on the notification bell so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first. My people, as matter be like this, be like the power don't they change hard. The deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, Benjamin Kalu, don't talk say the salary of federal lawmakers they too small compared to the enormous job their office intends them to do. My people, the deputy speaker said this on Channel TV on Monday night, dismissing call for the salary to be slashed. At the moment when he was talking about the salary of the National Assembly, he said this over and over again that it's not as much as people think, that salary is different from allowance, which is meant to do their job, their constituency have sent them to do, that nobody is allowed to touch allowances, that it is the salary that belongs to them, that allowances have no subheadings for, which, you know, they are made for. So when used wrongly, when the person is retiring, that the person will be sanctioned for that. So talking about the salary of the National Assembly, he said, it is a far cry from what it's supposed to be and he can assure us that even if they reduce it by 50 percent or 80 percent that it cannot really impact what the nigeria lawmaker should be earning of which that does not go to the tandem with the economic situation of the country <laughs> my people as they they break now different story we did here <laughs> we never come up for the hardship where we did some persons are looking for increasing salary the deputy speaker benjamin carlos said that he can assure us that based on economy indices at the moment, inflation rates and the rest of them, that the amount member of the National Assembly receive cannot actually take them home to do their job in their various constituency. So, considering the cost of transport, running constituency offices and the number of maintaining aides who are supposed to have them achieve what the mandate of that office demands. So, it is not a discussion that we add value to the crisis we are facing. Are they really sure about this? Because the way things are going right now, governments are not even looking at that aspect. There is no result yet. They are supposed to be the one to be engineering the government to do something about the current hardship people are facing but uh, mr ben said that he can only assure us that they will be willing to adjust if that is what we move nigeria to the next level that why not after all they did not send themselves there that they are voted in by the constituents there are so many persons out there destroying our country when we are looking at cutting costs or merging the two legislative houses somebody is there still demanding that they are not being paid enough honestly there is no way these statements will sit with the masses only they are sitting allowances and weak bonus can feed so many people they are not even talking about the welfare of the poor masses but what is their responsibilities their constitutional responsibilities is to make laws for nigerians and also serve as oversight function over the government ministry department agencies they have so many constituency projects but they will not do it rather they will indulge in smuggling to loot our common matrimony it is not their job you know to build road school hospital that is the responsibility of the state governors but there are other projects they are meant to do what what are they doing about it they are here talking about incrementing salary i keep asking what are the job specifications and what impact has it had on the people i think these particular arms of government are they one of the factors pushing bad governance and this one is here you know talking about responsibilities if they can't do it i think they should resign if they can't do it because they they force them there they choose to be there so guys i would like to know your thoughts your contributions your opinions are in the comment section we'd love to hear from you Moving on to the next one, the former governor of Benue State, Chief Samuel Otto, said that he has no plan to dump PDP for all Progressive Congress APC. He also clarified that, contrary to the rumor making round that he has no rift with his predecessor, Senator Gabriel Sunswan, that the minority leader of the Senate, Abba Mori, addressing the member of the PDP at the party expanded caucus meeting, he said that he remained a bona fide member of PDP and he will continue to support the party given his current status as leader of the party in the state. That even though the way they've started calling him leader of the party with a lot of responsibilities, that 
they want to take it away from him and he would not leave it for anybody that apc has not invited him to join them so he's committed to pdp while calling for unity in the party to overcome the outcome of the last election Chief Autumn said that there is no need to put blame on anyone over their loss, that the election have come and gone, and they must draw a line and forge ahead. That PDP is the only party that is strong and receptive to the yearning of the people. So with the new commitment, they will make the party more vibrant for tomorrow, and they shall succeed in the future election. That he wants to clarify that he do not have any friction with Senator Abba. And also the rumor that have been roaming around that he wants to decamp to APC. That that is not true. That they must respect the party at all times. They have to also strategize to return to power because now is the time to plan ahead. The Senate Minority Leader Abba Mori lampooned the APC for running into crisis and mismanaging the victory in less than one year in office. According to Otto, he said that they do not know how to manage power. So. They should remain steadfast as the good old days are coming back. Now let them take the party back to the people. Let the people own the party and let there be transparency. That is the only way power can work. Abba Mori said that for those waiting for him and Susuan and Otto to quarry, that they are not quarreling now or in the future. That they may have fallen, but they will rise again. That let the leaders remain united. Also, the former lawmaker representing Benue North East Senatorial District, Gabriel Soswan, advised the party to put aside the defeat in the 2023 election, that they should learn from it and forge ahead. Gabriel also denied the rumor of rift among leaders of the party, saying that Otto Mure and him are living in Abuja and they have been constantly meeting. That people want to cause friction to divide the party, and if that happens, it means that oh, that is the end of the party. That between them, they have agreed to work together. So those spreading rumors should desist from it. He also cautioned those peddling rumors to cause disaffection to desist from that attitude. He's assuring them that the party was united and strong and it will continue to be strong. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to with us. But if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page yet, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. But don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our video. Because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the trending and latest news happening on social media. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for staying to with us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, comment, we're next. Stay safe, guys. Bye.